welcome back to Gong Show. We are playing through the ROM hack pile. A couple more to go. This one is called Rockman Peercast. Eco Ronda. Audience will control the length. Uh, we're just jumping right in. Before the audience is even here, we're jumping in. Hey, YouTube, let's do it. Oh no, I recognize this son of a bitch name. Oh, uh, well, let's see how it goes. I choose the only one that's not offensive to my senses. Well, visibly he is. What on earth have they done? <laughs> we have seven or so ROM hacks to do, and after that, I'll be, uh, I'll just be playing a little bit of Dave the Diver. My default game until I get to the end of the content, and it, oof, it's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> so they they made this for speedrunning, but it seems like there's a lot of delay in this particular stage. I bet you come here later with the item two, but um, if this is Airman stage. And this is where item two is at. Damn. The knockback is so mean. I'm gonna take a death and bail. On Airman Pizza Man. For now. Okay, that's the wrong one. Oh, I see. It's anti-speedrun. Well, that, <laughs> you know, that checks out. So dangerous. <laughs> ah. That hurt quite a bit. <laughs> that was dangerous. I don't think this is a safe journey. Okay, they aren't gonna jump over here. Well, not being a speedrunner works to my advantage here because I can collect off the birds. Get that health up. Yeah! That's big! That's big! The chevrons have hooked me up. What on earth? Ah, wow, that's dangerous. I 
cannot see. <laughs> Alright. Ow. Rude as hell. Oh my god, I couldn't get rid of him, man. That's so mean. Two of them were attached that way, right on top of each other. Nice. Got what I needed. I'm just gonna run for it. Jumping seems to buy me a little bit of time from the fellas. Pizza man! I can't, I can't see a damn thing. He is going to shove me. I know that Airman is random. So to take away my vision of it is a big problem. But also, I don't have his weakness. And he does it more times than usual here. Looks like his damage is lower, though. Pizza Man destroyed. Yeah, got the two after all. Let's fight Killa Owa oh, 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 Man. Killa Ho Warts. Mm, warts. What Killa Ho What Man. This is just a luck man stage. <laughs> it's just ladders the whole time. Some frogs. Mostly not though, mostly ladders. <sighs> Couldn't hang on there. Ah, uh, where are we at on lives? I think I'm empty again. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it. Come here later, too. Looks like if I bring the crash bombs, I'll be in business. Banana man.
wow. Okay, cool. I didn't think it was gonna make it. Don't like those kind of jumps much. It's gonna be tough to pull this off. I can use the... Nah, not really. I was gonna say I could use the two to make it easier, but not really. Wouldn't be any easier for me. I can do here. Wish it didn't hit so hard. Ah, man. Gotta take some deaths. <laughs> I'm like a bell on this stage, too. I need a weapon that shoots upwards because fuck doing what they're looking for, which is triangle jumps while shooting. Four or five times in a row to kill that dog so I can get through. Let's go after who would be Metal Man. Metal Man. tank. Uh, in Mega Man 2, if you, um, if you game over, you lose your E-Tank, so I'm not thinking that that's worth going after in a deadly quest. Ah, uh, the birds could save me here, instead of actually murdering me like they're about to do. here that doesn't suck. The chain hits, and I don't understand how you get through here without getting hit for a million damage as a result of that. Probably need to bring Flash Stopper, which I do not have. birds. Nothing? Wow. Scammed. Wow, come on. <laughs> Nothing at all. I'll take it. Yoink. Sale! 500! Fuck that. I ah, wasted too much too. Sale! Sale! 500! Sale! Oh. 
jeez. It's a tough jump. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Couldn't pull it off. Can I have the energy back for the two? No. Damn. All that work. For the double rabbit scam. This one seems reasonable to get. Sweet. Sail. <sighs> that jump sucks. I should have used the two even though it's... A, hmm, I don't know. Even though I only have like one second of it, I can still skip that one jump because that jump is super rude. Uh, I'm gonna wipe out here. If I can get back to the door, I can probably win with the E-Tank. I wish I had a different weapon, holy shit, I wish I had some weaponry. The way they're demanding it here would really hit the spot if they would give me something. The air blaster is not very useful for most of this. It's shooting the wrong direction. I'm dead. Did I go back to that stage? I can, and I just don't waste the, the two and use it on the Yoku block area. How on earth do you do this? That's the way. But now what? Now this is even worse. Makes even less sense to me. Cool. I figured out how to do it without taking damage. <sighs> Tough jumps all the way. I don't have a very good salesman voice. Let me see if I can figure that out real quick. Fuck you, Baltimore! Sail, 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 Yoku blocks 500 for a pair, get them fast before they disappear! All of those birds, well, arrows, whatever the hell they are now, and no energy, come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it stole it. Man, I'm way here. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Hey! 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 Hmm, hmm. I get that one up easy enough. Last time I was here, I took this bonus one up and bailed. Shit. Not working out. They really just aren't dropping anything for me.
That'll do it. I have the energy to, um, to get ahead here. Just in case Metal Man is a nightmare. I'm gonna grab this. Don't have a good reason not to, really. flown from there. That freaking carrot. <laughs> so perfectly aimed. Well, at least I, I understand the distance of the level now, so I can try and measure this. Two lives left. I gotta I gotta use this wisely, because I only have really one shot at the, uh, <sighs> at the jet. I'm having so much trouble with these now. I'm running out of lives fast. If I'm down to zero, I'm just gonna try. Fuck. I've gotta get a little closer than this. And I gotta get higher up. Whew. This isn't high enough, I don't think. This is. Good enough. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the weapon I need is from here. Like the weapon that would seal the ending here. knees Hank. I'm gonna need the shit out of it. Holy crap. Just hopeless. He's immune to that. This boss is way worse than the other one. Pizza Man is, uh, much less annoying than Real Man. Who takes 32 hits, for one thing, instead of 16. I can't win this. There's no way. There's no hope here. I can't even move. That's too bad. This will take some serious grinding to get through. Well, that was... That one. A <laughs> peer cast. Wouldn't play again. But that's just me. We have a lot of stuff here. This one is called Voyage, a sorceress vacation by Snags. And I believe it's that, um, I can't remember the, the, the game with like four or five entries, the monster game.
Let's hit it. been evaporated. I got crabbed. coins. <laughs> Damn. Pushed it too fast. Got killed by the weird bird. Seal bird. dead. All that money. That's not even enough for the hotel bill. We have uh, a big lack of uh, anything to, to combat all these crabs with. I gotta be way more careful. Who needs money? Let's go. Waterfall time. Jeez, I missed my jump. Things can go bad real fast in the, in the land of Sorcerer's Vacation. 1.05. None of that money. Man, 
Nothing at all. Get some big Dave the Diver vibes from this. Man. Damn. Dave the Diver. What a game. That's enough swimming, let's go to the mountaintops. I know now that I need money to buy the goop. Oh, we got ratted. You can tell it's a rat, not a mouse, because of the size of the ears, you see. Could be a squirrel, though. <laughs> a really nasty looking squirrel. TKO. I think that's the end of me. This game is not very friendly with the life uh, number. I got caught three times, that's the end of me. There's someone gonna bring the juice money for the juice, the blue juice. Oh, there's some blue juice right there. That's like 500 bucks worth of blue juice. What is it for? Oh, damn! We saved a bundle on blue juice. <laughs> I mean, what else do we need? We got blue uh, blue juice. It's over. Practically won. Nothing can stop me now. Well, that was Voyage. <laughs> it didn't last very long. I think that was the shortest one yet. Um, I think we're actually out of Mario hacks. Mega Man hacks, I mean. Here's a Mario hack. This one will be a bit strange, being in the DS game that it is. I need to um, I need to fix the display for this one. Let's see here. I gotta change my settings a little bit, that's all. It's supposed to be much skinnier, so... This is what's supposed to be. We could just do that for this. I'll fix it after this is done. Uh, so this is... a DS... 
Mario game called Endless Earth by Mario Fanatic 64. Yeah, I mean, I could get it looking really good, but, you know, we're not going to be on it for too long, so. You will not tell me a story. If the bottom screen ends up being silly, then we'll just do the top screen. I need to see what the game actually looks like. Yeah, okay, so it is all top screen, so we can just fix it right now. Let me just do that. That'll work. Who needs bottom screen? Man. Hey, what's up? Wahoo! <laughs> Mario! Wahoo! Oh, I'm immediately loving a little bit of music. Oh, man. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> huh? Uh, what? I I was pulling up the side stream and in the gap between the side stream and the mainstream, <laughs> you killed the game. Let's try again. Wow. Have you tried making the game wider? Maybe. I like at least that this part, it's all bottom screen. Yeah, I figured it out without looking. <laughs> well, hopefully this game holds itself together. I don't know if I have the guts to go into these pipes now, they're dangerous. I mean, what do you expect when you go in a pipe? You think you're gonna come out the other side alive? Just climb in a human-sized pipe? That's the end of you. Yeah, you're gonna run into a fat berg. I hate to see it. Mario, Mario J. Plummer killed on a fat berg, got stuck in the pipe, died instantly. Damn, they throw the power ups at you though, that's nice. Yeah, that's what I get for looking. <laughs> we are not allowed to leave the opening world, that's the ticket. I wonder if I need to run this on a different thing. Let me, let me pull out. I mean, what do you use these days for this DS? Is it a DS game? Yeah. I think what the current... Let me try this. Okay, Melon DS is apparently, it's either Melon DS or um, Desmium, depending on uh, what game. The game is called Endless because you can't reach the end. All right, this will work, probably. <laughs> this This one. Probably it's gonna let us galaxy around for a minute. I'm gonna reset okay. the clock on this also. I found the Admiral Curtis Recommendation it was Melon DFs with the caveat that a handful of games don't work on it yet due to timing issues I'm ready How much Mario could there be? 
<laughs> it looks like there's at least eight worlds. Or eight missions on world one. I'm going into my mushroom house. Hey. Has one forlorn peach. What's going on, Tattoos? How you doing? I'm gonna shout you out. What do you think about that? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry. I hopped in here and was watching and giving occasional commentary, but I'm also finishing my dinner at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm eating a Popeye chicken sandwich. It's very good. <laughs> so life's, life's good right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make my own soup. Mm. And I, I got like a big blender. I'm trying to show out some smoothies and soups and shit. Oh, nice. Um, I use a hand blender to make uh, protein shakes, and I love that. Let me tell you. So much better results. Use a little bit of milk, <clears throat> protein, and like either like peanut butter, or, like uh, banana, or whatever. Yeah. It's awesome. You get so smooth and consistent. Oh. Can we survive the pipe journey? Yes. We did it! Um, it came to my attention that making a, uh, ooh, what's this? I've seen this before, actually. Making a strawberry banana smoothie, which is my, my go-to, I think it's everybody's go-to, is extremely easy. <laughs> you just slam those two things into a blender with some yogurt and call it a day. Yeah, maybe, like, if you have a nice blender, you can even throw in, like, a little bit of ice. Especially if you have, like, smaller ice. Yeah, maybe some oat milk. Um, I was I was making some other things where you know put spinach and things into it like actual healthy smoothies, <laughs> but that one's that was not bad for you. It's just a little sugar heavy, maybe depending on how you get the the fruit. Yeah, the protein stuff is worth it if you um, you know, <laughs> explicitly like if if you are doing a thing where your body needs it, it's good. Otherwise, it's probably too much. Yeah. Um, like, I think for most people, the most you can realistically absorb in one meal is like 35 or 40 grams of protein. I'm on the bigger side of uh, humanity <laughs> and also lifting, so like, I can go up a little bit above that, but yeah, still, there's, you know, there's <laughs> only so much you can have at a time. What the hell's happening? This is networking. This is your ideal exit. As in, time to get the fuck out, homie. See you later. Toad slaps his knees and says, well, stands up. It's time for me to hit the old dusty trail. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, let go, you jackass. Is this what Mario DS was like? It's, it's very, like, nightmarish. Like if I had a dream about Mario and it was it was bad, it would be this. It would be really slow and weird. Can't seem to do anything I want to do. I'm gonna grab the honeycomb. DS is you know capable of music beyond this weird twang. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't want to rely on like real basic stuff, but it, you know, pretty much put out whatever you put in it. Have you ever heard the um, soundtrack for uh, Sonic Chronicles or Sonicles? No. The, um, the DS RPG. Don't play it. Uh, not even as a joke. It's that level of bad where like there is truly nothing redeeming about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just so slow, and so bad, and so miserable, and the dialogue's all terrible, but the music is the worst part of all of it. Um, it is truly insufferable, and there's, like, just not enough of it. Hey, you're a real little guy, what's up with that? <laughs> this is a fun power-up from New Super Mario Have you played the New Super Mario Brothers like, Wii game? Yeah. That is in the Wii U one, at least, if not the Wii one. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, I don't remember that, but... 
you're still having a mushroom, you can still jump, but, um, like, you can still take a hit, but you can get into little passageways and you're a little lighter, a little guy float. Um, I, yeah, I just never was really big on the new Mario Bros. games in general. I think you don't have four people who are, are gonna mess with each other the whole time you're playing, it's not worth it. But that makes a lot of um, fun. I think that does add something to it, as long as the team is willing to pull it together and mess with each other enough to be funny, but not enough to keep progress from ever happening. Um, because when you get stuck on one level with timed platforms and waterfalls because one person is sabotaging for like <laughs> 20 minutes straight, it just gets to be a bit, a bit much, um, a bit much. But um, no, I think if I want a four player Mario experience, I just like would much rather play um, Mario 3D World. It's just yeah. better. I haven't gotten a chance to do that with very many people yet. I'd Welcome to, to the again. Game. Um, if we could, that was for Wii U is the problem and Wii U emulators are a little shaky. I got it on the Switch with the online play. Oh, does it have actual online? It, how? It... I think so. My main concern is that I don't know if 3D World on Switch has net play, and if it does, I am, I think, understandably a little concerned after I've <laughs> tried um, Mario Maker 2 online, for example. I mean, I think the new Super Mario Bros. games are fine, for what it's worth. Like, I think they're totally fine products. Um, they're just a little bit vanilla of platformers for me at this point in my, you know... My time playing so many things. I am s super not understanding what's happening in this <laughs> video game here. This is your ideal exit. Are we still in World 1? I don't think we are. It says M1 over on the right, but I haven't cleared a single stage. I think this is supposed to be an open world game. Um, yeah. Is the idea. Based, I think someone in chat mentioned it earlier. I apologize for not remembering who. But yeah, I Whoa. think that was the idea. Whoa, ghost with hands. Whoa. Whoa. I imagine I have some kind of goal. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. I don't think I'm heavy enough. I think it's important to have goals, man. That's good. I'm glad to hear about it. I'm yeah. glad to hear that yeah. for you. Yeah. Speaking of goals, I got the next charity broadcast on the uh, 11th or whatever December Sunday that is. If you want to do more 06, I'm <laughs> still in the same place. <laughs> I mean, I love watching people not play Sonic 06 or, you know, attempt to play Sonic 06, but um, have to deal with the trials and tribulations of playing Sonic 06. We just beat the Iblis trigger in Sonic's land. Mm-hmm. That's, you beat the worm one, right? Yeah. Like the first one? Yeah. You haven't got to the real fun levels yet. There are so many beautiful moments in Sonic 06 when you play it casually. It's truly something else. I got me a big puffy star. Yum. So I think that's the win condition for this game, is to get them big puffy stars. I've been a lot of places. <laughs> I've only seen one. Ooh, you're doing, you don't get an extra hit as Tiny Mario. You're just Ooh. dead. Yeah, see the thing is, chat, you can make the game load faster, but part of the thing I like about speedrunning Sonic 06 is every so often you get a break. <laughs> and you can like reset and like take a second. It's like going back to character select in fighting games. It just gives you a second to, like, get sorted again and get your mental game straight. <laughs> Which is important when you're speedrunning Sonic 06 because it is a fucking land of contrasts. <laughs> Sometimes that game really does some stuff. <laughs> Mario 2's net, uh, Maker 2's net play was really funny. <laughs> Dude, those levels were, like, so ill-advised. The number of times you would just have someone get, like, totally locked out. Oh, incredible.
That's definitely still a thing. The latency that it came with, too, was also really funny. I think I remember watching... I want to say it was you and Psyche try to play at some point. And... Just the, um... The distance between y'all was enough that the game was just... Psyche was like... 20 seconds in the past. <laughs> Oh! Have you found any uh, hacks you really like so far? A couple of Mega Man hacks that are worthwhile. Oh no! <laughs> That's not where I did. Um, a couple that I'm gonna put on the big shuffle pile. They're good enough for that. <laughs> if we can get them to cycle, which I imagine since they're just Mega Man 5 and 2, that they can be added just as easily. Yeah. Some really competent Mega Man hacks when they decide not to go nuts, when they decide to step back a, a minute on how hard they want it to be. And remember that most people beat um, most segments of Mega Man on their first or second try. Yeah. yeah, yeah most yeah. people, yeah, most people use a weapon that, that solves all their problems. Correct. <laughs> like they just get at least at every game, like name a Mega Man game and you'll find at least one weapon as good as Metal Blade. Metal Blade. Yeah, yeah. Metal Blade is like really the uh, the epitome of it. Um, yeah, hell, even Mega Man X has that sometimes, like Mega Man X. Uh... Almost all the weapons in that are nuts. There's Sting Chameleon's yeah. Immortality button you can just turn on. Um, and then in X5, there's just, you can play Zero and just have access to every tool at all times. <laughs> and it's the best. It's super fun. I mean, I'm spider blocks. I think my X1 has storm tornado and like homing missiles. Homing missiles are one of the worst ones. When homing missiles are the worst ones, you got some good weapons. Is your uh, favorite X still probably X2? Yeah, I think so. I think that's I think that's a solid one to go with. X1's problem is that you don't start with dash. Uh, so after a, a play, like the first playthrough, it's probably my favorite. But then I played it a hundred times, so now I have to deal with this slow beginning. <laughs> And when I'm shuffling, it makes me lose the vial like 10 times. Because I have to wait for him to beat, beat me up in a mandatory kind of way. <laughs> oh. I think my favorite now is probably the modded version of X5, with the exception of... Damn, they made the submarine hit like a truck. <laughs> They made that submarine hit like two trucks stapled together. Oh my god. <laughs> X6 we have a mod for that makes it still the worst one, but better. <laughs> it's just it's still the worst one. Does it make it so um, you don't need to just have all the correct parts or you have to deal with a one frame jump? Yeah, there's uh, there's places where it's just like, would you like us to just remove these spikes here? You know, the, you know the ones. And <laughs> like the, how about we disable the crusher trap on the crusher stage where it's nothing but crusher trap? It just turns it off. <laughs> it just turns it off, and you just run through it real quick, and it's nice, nice, nice casual walk. What about um, you know, the bosses, <laughs> like um, what's it's, um, oh God, what's the name? Something mother. That last one. It's not. Like it's not like a mod; it's a mod tool. So you kind of you kind of pick from a million options, and you can just mess with the damage on anybody. Mm. So you could, um, I mean, those bosses still are the worst AI-wise. You can't really fix that, but they can they can just not hurt you <laughs> if you want. They can just be easy. I have found three stars. I'm surprised that this game is continuing to not get going to honest. <laughs> this game is one of the most boring Mario's I've ever played. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I, yeah. Hey, everyone. You should probably gong this. It's really whatever. This is... 
You know what? This this feels like um. Oh, what's that? Anna Sisters. It this feels like a Gianna Sisters game. As opposed to a Mario. I got three stars. That's and sixty nine coins. That's what you need. Nice. Yeah. Well, DS, um, aside, like, there really isn't anything on the other screen. It just says M1, and you can click on it for a power-up if you want. And that's almost all. Like, you could have put this on the GBA. <laughs> like, it feels like it is. I think I know what this one is. Let me reload. Yeah, feed is down because uh, Swites, uh, Smite's uh, switching games. Yeah. I gotta do a little bit of configure in here. That's the joy of using the DS, is um, every time you use the DS um, and switch to or from it, you have to remake everything. <laughs> Play us a little Smash Remix by JS64. Uh this game is mad fun. Have you played uh, Smash Remix before? Yeah, I've been using it for uh, Arena because it keeps adding more characters. Yeah, this game's fun as hell. I gotta make sure my controls are correct, that's all. <laughs> Up and down or backwards, otherwise. Otherwise, good. All right, all set. Very wide, but yeah. Kirby. So, um, Kirby. who do you main in this? As I used Kirby in the first game. I, I feel like he got weaker. You gotta try one of the new characters, man. You can't be, you gotta, you can't play Smash Mario. Remix and pick fucking Mario, brother. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah. I'm here for the pod, man. Let me make sure my buttons are right. They seem a little silly. Yeah, okay. It just kind of just kind of rebound them to like default. I must have hit something. I was like, wow, that's weird. I didn't really play much of um, as much as the new Smash Brothers as I'm into. I think it's because the net play wasn't grand. <laughs> like, this wasn't feeling it. Yeah, uh, Smash uh, Ultimate's net play is uh, dog do you wash your ass, yeah. This is known. <laughs> there, are, there are a myriad of technical reasons that, like, Smash Ultimate's online is, like, provably factually bad, which is a shame. Smash players deserve better, which is why they should play Rivals of Aether sometimes. That game's mad fun, and the net play is like pretty good. They actually got a solid rollback going. Yo, Invincible Piano, let's go. Can't figure out any moves. It seems like all of the C buttons just jump for the piano. I thought I was going to get me some uh, normals. No, um, different moves in Smash Bros are up, down, left, right, and neutral with A and B. That's it. B buttons are nothing. It's Smash. Whoa, crunchy Yoshis. <laughs> so many Yoshis. I forget what the game was called. That was a Smash like. I don't think it was Rivals of Ether. There was another one. That was just there, pure there, basics. Uh, it was one of the popular ones. And it had like oh. no moves at all. It was just pure basics, and I liked that because then I understood everybody and I could I could win with just basic. Say, Brawl Brawl Hollow was pretty simple. That's um, it. I think. It was like, yeah, it was free to play. That was like its big draw for a long time. Um, yeah, I, I know folks who enjoy that game a pretty good amount. Um, Rivals of Aether is a really really good time and has some really wild fun characters in it. Um, I look forward to the second one. 
<clears throat> if the net code's as good as the first one, I'll probably enjoy it. PlayStation All Stars uh, looks really bad. <laughs> I didn't. I had to buy a PS3 just to try that. Like, I I have a list of games that have AI mode, and that's on the list. And I I usually invest in that because you know it's a business expense for me. I'll just get those games. But that one, I don't have a PS3 just for that. Like, it's not good enough for that, as far as I can tell. <laughs> it looks pretty crappy. Yeah, I mean, the thing that's nice about Rivals of Aether is a lot of those mechanics are present in Smash games. The thing is, Rivals of Aether will tell you about them and explain how you use them. Whereas Smash is just like, mm, you'll feel it out. <laughs> like, they've finally gotten better about patch notes on uh, in Smash Ultimate, but still, yeah, not a, not a ton, ton of information in the game, and the training mode is pretty bad. So, you learn a lot. Yo! <laughs> How'd taunt's you do that? Like... Was that taunt? Yeah. That, I taunt's, got... that taunt is nasty with it, bro. Damn. I meant to shield up, and I accidentally got caught in a taunt loop. <laughs> oh, here we go. I missed these. They were fun. I was hoping this was the way you would unlock characters, but the, uh, the campaign wasn't too bad in the new one. Like solving a puzzle. Felt, I felt really bad for Smash TOs that had to like go through the uh, <laughs> the campaign on like five different setups. So they spent literal like days and nights right after the game released getting as many setups with all the characters unlocked as possible. Nightmare shit. Absolute nightmare shit. <laughs> yeah, in the first game, the. Um Target missions were unique to characters, and they, they were puzzles. They required very specific action. It was not great, because you only got one shot at them, and you had to try again if you didn't do it in the right order sometimes. Like, Kirby's would end mid-air with a sword swing underneath the ground. <laughs> like, you'd, have, you'd be dead if you did that one out of order. Goodbye, Luigi. Oh, no, he's back in. I underestimated him. Does the piano have a down B? What's the down special on this thing? It just kind of opens his mouth. Oh, I wonder if it's a command grab. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Chuck roast. You could probably uh, gan inside with that if you want. Just like speak and then jump. <laughs> Drop him in the toilet. Nice work, Ness. Luigi! Yo, I love this piano. <laughs> this piano rips. It's AI what isn't very smashes? good. Do you have any of the sma have you tried any of your smash attacks? What are those? Where you hit like forward and A at the same time. Like, oh yeah. You tap that's, them together. As that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> that's my only move. Ah, oh, that okay. Yeah, my normal attack is this wiggle, this stretch, this, this flash encoding animation <laughs> thing. That rules. That's the funniest jab I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, let's go. Loops. Loops. Pikachu's damaging me big time. I'll actually... Oh, never mind. Oh, was that up smash? Yeah. Good. I never really had anybody... I, I had friends that played this game, but they sucked at it, so I, they always... You could get them with Jigglypuff. They never were ready for that kind of play. <laughs> never really had anybody to compete with. I mostly had to play against people who didn't understand the concept of blocking. <laughs> yeah, and this game is kind of weird. Especially since it's like mixed with dodge. Yeah, in many games, um, if you don't block, you will die. And this is one of them. <laughs> Against good players? Oh, man. I mean, especially this game in particular, Smash 64, is really funny because um, compared to later Smash games, everyone's recovery is trash. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so. Some characters. 
You just zero to death them off anything because they just can't get up. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I learned how to use Kirby's sword down to knock people instantly down off the ledge, and I just used that, like, mercilessly on my friends. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a good time and you're not privy to the information yet, look up uh, Kirby's up tilt in... Uh, in, in in smash 64 um the hitbox is so funny <laughs> it is like literally twice the size of kirby <laughs> it is so big <laughs> it is super easy to get three hits with that and the second one slams everyone down at lightning speed there's no recovery if you get hit by that in the wrong place you're just done and i definitely feel like he is the same but much less capable in the new ones. I don't know why. I like playing him still, but I can tell that he's not the same oh. beast. Kirby, they, they nerfed Kirby into the toilet after this one. Um, this was the one game where Kirby got to be uh, king shit of fuck mountain. Um, eventually, <laughs> I think, um, became number two, because while Kirby has like more recovery than almost all of the tasks, some of the most ignorant hitboxes that loop into themselves that can zero to death off anything, a uh, functional grab, really good ledge guarding ability, all sorts of shit that just makes him super privileged. Um, his recovery is still kind of predictable, whereas Pikachu's um, is way less predictable while still being very good. Agility, the uh, multi the little zoop zoop to get back on stage, really hard to contest compared to almost everyone else's recovery. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Kirby up tilt in 64 is like legitimately so funny. Um, let me see if I can um, get an image for chat. <laughs> Kirby just didn't feel like flying. Okay, yeah, I got him to post it. This thing is so funny. They did a good job with the announcer in this. He sounds like the same person. Does it, I mean, is he? <laughs> Do they have a tape of him just saying Mad Piano? Yeah, chat. Go ahead and click that link if you want to have a if you want to have a good time. The red part is the part where you can get hit. Um, the little cube is Kirby. Just take that in. <laughs> I want to see the image. Yeah, that looks right. Like, I can feel that is what I'm doing. Why is it so big? It's like twice the size of Kirby. Kirby deserves to win, that's why. He should always win. <laughs> Sakurai's perfect soldier. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, she got the big heel. Couldn't remember how to pick up items. <laughs> Something that is extremely fun and good in this game. I'm ready. It all works out for the piano in the end. Damn, the fact that the piano just goes sicko mode with the hammer, kind of godlike. There's a damage shuffler with Mario games now, and Mario 64 is in it. No, I'm really bad at Mario 64 these days. <laughs> um, yeah, the thing that I found last time I tried to play Mario 64 was uh, oh. my frustration with the camera uh, was not measure. Yep. <laughs> that, oh, man. Damn. So many, know, things, really. so many things I was able to deal with, but that camera, man, like... Oh, it's the worst. 
Yeah, even with like Author Blues trying to help me and be like, yeah, remember to use this camera, that camera, I was like, man, this is like, I wish it was any other camera. <laughs> like, he dude does not want to like cram into a corner. Yeah. And he, uh, he auto positions the wrong way on purpose. <laughs> All the time. But yeah, there's a good example of how much uh, worse recovery is on average. Like, Mario has his double jump into an uppercut, and, like, it's not a lot. It's really stubby in this game. Like, both the double jump and the uppercut are both really small. Um, compare that to, like, Brawl Meta Knight, who could fly from... Who could jump off the stage on the right ledge, fly out to the right blast zone, turn around, fly under the entire stage, fly up, and land on the left end of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I mean, bad example. Brawl Meta Knight was a war crime. <laughs> that being said, the you know that that's not entirely unheard of. <laughs> that's something I noticed having skipped all the games in the middle. <laughs> is, is that people could recover from almost anything all the time, and I, I had to get used to actually guarding the ledge instead of just knocking them off and being done with them. It's really hard to get that finishing blow compared to what it was. That's why, that, that's why I love playing um, Shovel Knight in Rivals of Aether, because he has a couple good ways to kill, and they all feel like you are absolutely styling on your opponent. One of them requires you to jump like a little bit under them on purpose. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. I think the piano has terrible recovery and only heavy attacks. No, there's no medium. Yeah, I mean this game it was um it was like you had your jab and then you have your like up air or you're like up and you're down. I think that's basically that's basically it. Like I don't think there were side normals in this one. But there might have been side normals, but there weren't side specials, I think. Is that when you charge up? No, the non-charge. Well, the the smash the specials are like your the the button that would make Mar Mario do a fireball or an uppercut. Um, just you have two sets of moves. Um, but there isn't a special one for your side in this game. Melee forward, you would a B button move. Uh, when you didn't touch anything, and a B button move if you were touching left or right, and they were separate. This game, there isn't that distinction. Hey, Andy Yamel, thanks for the post. Andy Yamel! Nice. That means this stream counts as uh, Canadian content, so it can be used to fill airtime in Canada more effectively. Yo, got that JPEG Blastoise. <laughs> Let's go. These are the only Pokemon I know. <laughs> the ones in this game, that's all I got. I got 12 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Name them all. Uh, Blastoise, Hit Hitman, Man, Lee. Stop. Uh, bees. <laughs> um, I gotta say that has been making Scarlet and Violet really fun to play. Um, cause like I don't know what types the gym leaders use or the Elite Four use. I don't know what the fuck any of the Pokemon are based on their names. So they're like, your opponent's about to throw out a Fremlagore, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> um. Well, Scizor, stay out there, man. I hope you can deal with the Fremlagore. <laughs> so every so often I get hit by a weakness and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> if only I could read. Like, I forget what fairy is weak to, like, half the damn time. <laughs> I run a video game quiz show and I don't know any of the Pokemon game at all, so I always have to pull in a pinch hitter to check those questions. Don't worry. I don't know the level of information they're asking about most of the time. Look, I am aware I only have one time, time for one game that I'm going all in on, and I have chosen my genre and it's fighting games. <laughs> Sorry, Pokemon. I'm into Dave the Diver. <laughs> That's my new genre. Yeah, now, I was gonna say, I've been seeing you play that game a lot, how is it? It's really good, it's not done yet, but um, definitely worth the time. I don't know, it, I, it feels like it's gonna be like a Hades situation, which to me is a game that I play the shit out of, and then once I'm done with it, I'm just never gonna look back. <laughs> like, it feels like I'm gonna really exhaust it by the time it's done. But it's good. I've already got 10 hours in it, or so.
Pokemon Tournament. Um, Pokemon Tournament DX is a really fun game um, that's fucking impossible to play. <laughs> the online is probably the worst I've ever seen in any fighting game. Like, it's got... If you and a friend are trying to play against each other, let's say I make a room. As soon as I make the room, it starts me against fighting against a CPU. Um, if you join the room and I'm fighting the CPU, it then will have you start fighting a CPU. Um, then once we've both finished our matches, hopefully we're close enough to finishing at the same time that it will then match us up together. There's no way around this when you're playing online. Um, playing the game offline is also a nightmare because you need to land two systems together because the camera is kind of an over the shoulder type thing. Um, yeah, it's hellish. <laughs> it's and it sucks because the game is mad fun. Uh, Pika Libre, she's the she's the best. But um, yeah, they just made a game that is like actually impossible to play, <laughs> which blows. Custom graphics, nice. Why would they do that? These are the mysteries. I would love to see um, another another attempt at that though i would love to see pokemon tournament dx made by um adults when they're working on the net code i um oh, where are the characters <laughs> it's just these 12. okay what? i don't know how this works this uh 12 character thing Let's find out <laughs> uh i was gonna say I, I like the voice acting in the new Tactics Ogre game, but I actually feel like it's worse than the PlayStation one. Uh, for a lot of reasons. I need to mod the absolute crap out of it. I'm gonna have to make those mods myself too, because the community seems to like the game some. I think they are used to the PSP version, which is lousy. <laughs> it's a lousy game. <laughs> um, so that was disappointing, but I have Dave the Diver to take its place. <laughs> A Wasn't game that's just by the Tekken people. Yeah, Tekken also has some of the worst netcode. Yeah, correct. You got it. <laughs> uh huh. Nice dodge, Samus. This is also oh, wow. why um, Soul Calibur 6 is uh, functionally dead, despite being a really fun game that I really enjoyed playing. It's a shame. Calibur 6 is a hoot. I gotta get those grabs on. Yeah, grabs are really strong in this game. Nice kick! Um, <laughs> Holy shit! Yo! I respect it. Get anti aired. Wow, a smash remix. But yeah, Bamco uh, has done a lot of fighting games with bad netcode. Yeah, correct. <laughs> That's, uh <laughs> Yep. Let's see here. Yeah, what do we got? What's in the chamber? I got three left. Saving the, probably the worst for last. Here's Zelda, The Legend of Link. Link? Link. Oh, is this an NES hack? Yes, this is by a guy named Infidelity, which is a good screen name for somebody that. It's time to hack, hack Zelda and cheat on my wife. Okay, well that crashed. Let me try a different thing. <laughs> we'll get this running yet. <laughs> Time to play The Legend of Link and cheat on my wife. <laughs> Let me get that back on screen here. Link! Okay, Zelda, hold it together this time. Oh, no. Infidelity, 2014 to 2020. Infidelity is over, everybody. <laughs> you can no longer cheat on your wife. Damn. 
big rip to me and the boys. <laughs> yeah, now that we can't, we just, just, or just heard the news, can't cheat on my wife anymore. Damn. Oh, damn, he's hooking me up. Hey, I just have all the stuff, my man. We're not unreasonable here. It's a tough quest. Is this... This can't be NES Zelda 1. No, this is... Um, it looks like it's using or trying to replicate assets from like Oracle of Seasons, Oracle Ages a little bit. Or maybe like Link's Awakening. It's definitely on the NES. Shop. I don't think I ever beat Zelda 1 because I tried to do it without help and um, got lost on like Dungeon 6 or 7, couldn't find my way. Yeah, um, Zelda 1 is a game where if you don't use a guide, you better be like making a map or just willing to wander for a very long time to find the correct stuff. I think I was supposed to be looking in a cemetery or something and I never figured out how to get in there. Breath of the Wild 2 look. I haven't really been paying attention. It looks like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> okay. They have not shown they have not shown a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they have not shown much. Um it looks like they're gonna make more Breath of the Wild, which I'm here for. Yeah. I liked the first one. I I hope the other one is as good as that. If not better. Hell yeah. I hope they <laughs> refine a couple things. I hope Rain... That's one, yeah. ...dies. <laughs> I hope Rain is dead. I hope Rain doesn't exist anymore. At least the ability to climb up it, and it's just kind of annoying instead of damn near impossible. Or you have to game the system to climb up in the rain. Uh, cooking was weird because... I mean, I guess I don't, I don't know if I want it to change or not, because all you did was throw the same thing in there five times, and that was the good way to cook. If you <laughs> tried to follow, like, a recipe, it was a, even if you did it, it was not good. It's just lousy. It was usually very expensive um, for very Whoa! medium results, whereas you could just get... Oh, get fucked. Um, you can just get, like, six durians from the same tree and then put them in a pot, and it gave you, like, plus 30 <laughs> hearts yeah, or whatever. That's right. One, one of those by itself also had the side effect of just being a full heal because any time you get one yellow heart, you automatically get a full heal. <laughs> so you can just yeah. quickly cook a mushroom and just get the best yeah, potion. Man, the, the durians were like absolutely goaded. The, the durians were so busted. <laughs> the bananas oh, too, which you can get 8 million of, give you this like 300% damage buff. Yup. It's just three bananas in a pot. Yeah, I, I think I still, like, my favorite playthrough of Breath of the Wild was my first one, just because, like, I didn't bother trying to do every side quest or anything. I just t took what I got, and, you know, if I saw something, I would go over there and check it out. But, like, I ended without... I don't think I ever upgraded my armor. Like, I might have upgraded my sneaking suit, like one piece of it once or something and that made the end of the game pretty threatening and pretty pretty exciting because when you're wearing the sneaking suit and stuff unupgraded you take pretty decent damage whereas like if you took the time to actually get like the final armor and get it upgraded and all that shit man you can just have one of the you can have one of them robots just shoot you in the head and just be like <laughs> yeah. it was like two hearts of damage oh jeez. I liked the hard mode, but it, it needed to be actually done instead of just quickly hammered together like it obviously was. Correct. Correct, yeah. It, it, them doing universal variables across stuff was a mistake. Um, particularly the uh, Ganon fights, like the elemental Ganon fights. The fact that some of them will literally just be unhittable for 20 plus seconds, which means 
they start regenerating health. Yeah. When they're just in, like when Water Ganon is in water mode and you just can't do anything. <laughs> and then there's <laughs> or the, the wind one is just like, I'm going to just not be here if that's cool with everyone. <laughs> the Master Sword Trials in that mode required stealth kills, which I think, I think most, probably like 70% of the people playing that game didn't even know was a thing. Or you have to sneak up on a sneaky boy or hit him from behind and not be caught and get some bonus damage. If you don't do that in the Master Sword Trials on Expert, you're not going to make it. Because your weapons will not last long enough to do the killing you have to do. Yeah, when I did hard mode, I just did it to complete the game and was like, sick. I'm not doing any bonus content like <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no fucking thank you. Absolutely not. I know I am smart enough to put two and two together. Speaking of which, watch out, sir. Wizards. Yeah, these guys real hit for five ones. hearts or something. Yeah. This is the first dungeon, I think. Nope. I've done this. <laughs> cool times in there. There are so many Zelda games. I feel like I, I'm not really interested in ROM hacks of them just because I still have like 10 normal ones to play, like actual releases. I haven't played any of the handheld ones, and I haven't played um, pretty much anything after Majora's Mask except for Breath of the Wild. I haven't played um, Wind Waker or Skyward Sword or any of those. Wind make, the Wind, Wind Waker uh, remake is pretty cool because they... It did the thing that I wish Nintendo would do more often, which is we did a release of a game and then a few years later we looked at the things that weren't so good about the game and fixed them. And then we made it again. Like, they're like, what if you could just go faster in the boat? <laughs> what if the boat was just faster, like, right away? What about that? <laughs> cool. <laughs> what? If, like, it's sick. Yeah, I, I really like the remake. Um, uh, I've heard A Link Between Worlds is incredible. If you haven't played that one, I think that was a 3DS one. The remake of Link to the Past fixed a couple of problems. It made the Ice Palace less shitty, <laughs> and it made the bosses that require mana to beat actually drop mana, instead of just telling you over and over again to bring a potion. Oh, we're back in it. Oh yeah, they did that um like little tilt shifted making it look like uh, like a toy set or whatever uh version of Link's Awakening. I want to play that on emulator, um, just because I saw the way it ran on Switch, and it was a little bit of a bummer because the game is very, the style is cool. I think this, I think the style is very, very cool, and I think it looks very good. Um, so it's a shame to see it run poorly, and I think seeing that on an emulator would be tight as fuck, and being able to like upscale it and stuff. Yeah, that's great that it ran fine on your Switch. I watched a lot of streamers play it, and it didn't run <laughs> fine in a lot of areas for them. Oof. Melee damage from the wizard. Fuck! Jesus. <laughs> God, those beams are so fast. Save continue. I haven't made any actual progress in this yet. I'm not sure where to go. Standard Zelda problem. Gotta make my own map. Um... Every time I bring up Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this joke. I'm gonna force this joke to be popular. Nobody likes it but me. I'm gonna keep making it until it's the best joke in the world. What do you talk? Zelda. <laughs> I, I do think it's pretty funny having Link be slowly, like maybe a little dumb from waking up from time sleep. I think Belda's funny. I've actually seen people make a similar joke where he's he's so busy not rescuing her that he completely forgets that she needs saved. I just assume you had it held down. <laughs> yeah, you seem like you were doing good. He hasn't, he, I mean, it's been 100 years, guy still hasn't won, you must have it. Nice work. Yeah, D keep it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you in the next century. <laughs> Mulva.
<laughs> Shit. I gotta find me a mushroom smasher. I don't know that there ever is supposed to be a romance. That doesn't sound right. In what? Zelda and Link. Ever. <laughs> Especially in Breath in, of the Wild. In Breath of, in Breath of the Wild, there's like the the knight and protector stuff. I think there's a little bit of it, but not like... I think that Link doesn't that, understand what that is. <laughs> and that's what I, I'm going that, with. See, that's, that's the read I like to take, is Link doesn't know what sex is. Yeah, it's... Now, does that preclude him from having it? No. Goku doesn't know what sex is, and he has two kids. <laughs> so... <laughs> I just recently like, saw how that how that came to be. I'd never watched Dragon Ball, and he, he was just <laughs> he thought it was dinner. He thought marriage was just a meal or something. <laughs> What's kissing your wife mean, Vegeta? <laughs> Dragon Ball Super is so funny. Fuck. I'm trying to find something. Usually the first dungeon is not too hard to find. I got a hundred bucks. Hey. Hey. Okay, this is the guy who gave me the weapon, so this is the start right here. It's gotta be the staircase. It's not the staircase, so I got ten bucks. It's gotta be this house. <laughs> Come on. That's a lot of cash. Big 20! What are you gonna do with all those dollars, Smite? Five big 20s? Uh, there was a store that was selling, like, something. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy something. Yeah, this game having a map would be sick. Pay me an altar. Yeah, they do not. Oh. You should pay them so they talk. I think that might be a good idea. I, t I did already. They told me to get the strength gauntlets to lift things with. Oh, cool. It was a good deal. Uh, I mean, does Zelda 1 have a map? I don't think it has a map. Unless I'm missing something. Congratulations, you have two keys now. I, um, I pray you find something to use them <laughs> on. <laughs> Door, or a chest, perhaps. Key to anywhere. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I mean, there's, there's gotta be a chest in there. I've got the Outworld map, that's gotta be something. Here's this, we got a lamp. This is awesome. Okay, now, how do I use the Outworld map? What? Do you have to select it from this menu in the top left? Or top right, I mean? Ew. <laughs> okay, I gotta draw it first, I guess. Oh. Atari-ass map. What? Well... Let's just wander around for a bit. Things are progressing. This is good. I love your enthusiasm, man. Keep it up. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of shops in this place. You, you ever notice that? Yeah, I'm bankrupt though, unfortunately. Ask them to buy, ask if you can buy some money. I already have all that stuff, except for the shield. Who needs that? 
The chat influence just went from positive to negative after I bought the map. Yeah, I think everyone realized it was, in fact, just wandering at that point. I think that I think that was the part that made people go, Oh shit, you are just kind of wandering around hoping you run into something. That's something. Belda? I'm sure there's a dungeon somewhere. If this is based on the first game, it's harder to find than it was in that. But, um, the late game dungeons I never found anyway. Oh, wow, yeah, that timer is rocketing down. That's the baddest <laughs> shit I ever seen. Siri, play Legend of Zelda by System of a Down. Let's play money-making game. I played, I win. Damn, man, you're good at money-making game. Yeah. Pretty cool thing to be good at. This tunnel doesn't make much sense to me because it just goes over here. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's a bomb wall or something, but it doesn't look like there is one. Or they just, do you smack them to see if they're real or something? Cortana, play Esposito. You just, you just hope in this game? Hmm? When you're looking for an invisible cave wall, just kind of guess? Maybe there aren't any. Damn, well that's Lincoln Fidelity. <laughs> Give it a shot. I don't know why it was unstable. That was weird. You know what I found while I was looking for that Zelda? I don't know. What's, I don't remember why that? I made this, but uh, I remember we made it together. <laughs> this is definitely my art style. You can tell it's my, my signature art style on there. What else do I have in here? We got The Witcher. A lot of cool pictures in my random folder. So oh, whoa! <laughs> this Witcher one's a classic. Tub. <laughs> yeah, that's an all-timer, man. <laughs> Young Master's a wiener. Gonna traitor him. <laughs> Change the the meta on Sukoden. If you ever play, <laughs> it'll be hard to do that scene. All right, I've got two more left. This one's called Sonic Boom. You do and you clean it up. <laughs> what? Oh man, why do you get a Sonic Boom hack? Okay, I think this is a separate Sonic Boom. By SN Kenjoy and then the same thing backwards. Yonjini <laughs> kids. Yeah. <laughs> music sounds for me. <laughs> Damn. Sonic Boom. Oh. I'm already... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Into the vents. Stage design is my passion. Holy shit. Oh, she was somebody's... <laughs> Stage design is my passion. Sonic is my art. Got me with the old Samari. <laughs> there. <laughs> cool. I like the speedometer. That's cool. It's about about the rest. Bounce pad. Kick balls. Yeah, bounce pad. Rings. It's like they're drawn to me. One day I'll manage to forget about Sonic Boom Man, but you know, some stains don't watch out. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> God, I wish that were me. I remember Maddie first learning about the, uh... Double jump. 
That's the, the knuckles wraps. That was awesome. Wow, you got a double jump? That's why that's how I get out of there. Is this Duke Nukem for the for the Genesis? Is that what this music is? Yes, I think so. It's gotta be. There's no way they remix this themselves for Sonic Boom. I'm here to kick gum and chew ass. Watch the movie that quote is from recently, because I always do. <laughs> I got it in 4K. Shit. What movie is that? They Live. With the sunglasses. It's a really, really weird scene where Piper walks into a bank and he says that and then he starts shooting the aliens. Like, he just says it for no reason at all. Ow. You got hit. You fell for one of Robotnik's deadly traps of unreactively throwing you into damage for trying to go fast in a Sonic game. Yeah, you know how it is. I do, man, I do. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Just getting these ready. Getting what ready? Sonic. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> Cool. This is a lot of loops. King Orb. Can you can you hit me with one of them Duke Nukem's? Can they can I get one? Damn, I got banned from romhacks.net for posting nude Sonic. <laughs> Sick. So um how's King Orby treating you? <laughs> Pretty good, I'm having a great time. The thing about Sonic games is, is as long as you can get the ring back, you don't actually have to play. As long as you can do that one thing well, that's all you need. Oh man, P on Orby is even worse than King Orby. Uh-oh, now we're dead. boss where the only way to hit him is to damage boost. That's so sick. But Well, I gotta hang on to that ring a little bit better next time, I guess. I do have a kick move of some kind, but I don't know how to use it. Is it uh, down and jump in the air? We have a lot of tech. <laughs> it seems like it's got like a cooldown or something. I don't really understand. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. That's just no hope now. I'm not sure. I need to work that out probably. He just kind of does yeah. it sometimes and same same buttons aren't doing it oh. again. You might need to be like a certain distance into your jump before it'll let you do it. Is it maybe like only like down in a button or up in a button or something? Maybe oh. I have to be a certain speed. I absolutely had a ring there. I think it's. I think it takes rings. That's what it is. Oh, that's, that's even worse. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Damn. That kind of sucks. Sonic needs his Go Daddy juice, or else he can't <laughs> run fast. Well, I can't use those moves here because I'll just die if I don't got my rings. Rings are very important. But...
Oh, they fall through the floor. You have to catch them. Shit. I haven't used those. Uh, I put them on my my soundbar because I told Author Blues to make a joke using those, and he didn't, so I used them to roast him. <laughs> and then I took them off. <laughs> Only sometimes. They don't always go through the floor. It would be nice if they resisted the urge to do that. Well, that's the end. This boss is actually impossible. This is a pretty big ask, yeah. I'm wondering if... Maybe there's... Fuck. Some, like, solid dashes you could do to get through stuff? I'm not sure. You can theoretically swing in there without getting hit, but it's super tight, and to do it eight times in a row is a lot. And this little fella is even tighter, and they summon two or three of those. I'm almost wondering if, like, the dive kick does more damage. Worth a shot. I got nothing else going for me. It does not. And it, it absolutely drains you to zero. That's sick. Yeah, I think it should have, like, iframes on it or something. Anything. <laughs> it's not anything I was, yeah, I was assuming if it cost a ring that maybe they would give us some, like, wild frames or it would do a bunch of damage or something. Maybe the down slam? other moves if you had like same thing but with left or right in the air or up Oof. the down slam only costs one to use <laughs> I, did, I did it there and I got caught before I landed and it, I don't think it <laughs> did anything yeah I don't know um Damn, I love to spend resources uh, to do uh, bullshit. <laughs> I, I love <laughs> that. Yeah, if the dive kick like instant killed bosses or um, had a lot of iframes or something, maybe it'd be worth a ring or two, but yeah, holy, sm holy smokes. It's so hard to, to get those last five hit. He has 10 health. It's just a lot. I didn't catch the ring. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna back it up. To catch the ring, it's gonna be great. Hopeless. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't drop the barrier after you hit it is like pretty wild. Wow, it's so fast. Thing's cruising. I can't yeah. even sneak in there. He's just a small little fella. <laughs> oh shit. What? <laughs> he went big head mode. He's invisible. I missed the Duke already. <laughs> Piper C Park. <laughs> Here's Yoshi Master 96. What the fuck, Triss? The <gasps> final one in my ROM hack pile. Oh, do you think this is gonna be better or worse than Kentris? Kentris is hard to beat, it's got some charm. This one, I know what it is. Um, I think I put this one in myself. Give me that B type music. Yeah. What if Tetris sucked ass? <laughs> what if it was terrible? Oh man, is it just 
Oh, is it just Tetris with the worst pieces? Bro, this is so cursed. <laughs> stick, stick, a huge stick. Unbelievable amounts of stick on this one. I want I Force Might to die playing Tetris in real life. I like that the Z block is still in it. They're like, you know what? That thing sucks enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can stay. <laughs> I'm going to get one line if it kills me. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, everybody, make Smite and play bad Tetris more, please. I implore you. <laughs> Where the fuck did you put any of these? I can't wait to see you devise a strategy. <laughs> For these new worst blocks. Oh god, this would be a hilarious snails or just make one line. <laughs> Finish a line. Ooh, Pog. Got one. <laughs> one line complete. Shut. <laughs> The line piece is garbage too. It's all bad. <laughs> oh man. Just gotta commit to the idea of not getting uh, a perfect go of it. You're always gonna have some garbage. Like every line causes an extra line of trash, no matter what. Yeah, it's about optimizing uh, the amount of space you, you burn. Two lines. Let's go. He's starting to believe. I can't do it. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Wait, can we can we just slide this bad boy all the way in there? Oh hell yeah. Oh my god. Yo, the big tech pod. <laughs> Three lines. I'm a half dead. Oh, the grandmaster is logged on. Let's go. Double. No, it's not. Damn. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> There's a hole in the middle, stupid. <laughs> nah, shit. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, I had it. I slipped. Oh. Hang in there. Oh no, it won't flip. <laughs> it's too big. New PB. Four. Yeah. Oh man. If we can get 25 lines, we'll get an ending. No way. I don't believe. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I don't believe 25. I don't believe. All you gotta do is think outside the box. Okay, man. I'd love to see it. <laughs> How am I going to do with that thing? It's cool. It's a cool shape. Dude, that thing is the worst. The cube with the gap. The, cu the gap cube can go to hell. I hate that thing. I'm gonna be playing and I hate that thing. The testable shape. <gasps> One bog. <laughs> 24 remain. <laughs> it's not going great. I wanna believe. I wanna believe. I had at least one good play. Need some more of those. <laughs> there's no right. there's no T spin in this version or anything. I can't do anything slick with these pieces. <laughs> Perfect symmetry. Ooh. Part of the problem I is the... I can't I can't slam this down without there being space. That's the thing is yeah it seems like a lot of it is um, deciding what rows are going to be the the rows where you're okay with there being a space and which ones you aren't and how do you keep them separated as much as possible, right? Like, you want to make as many of the gaps in the same line as you can. So that when you clear enough stuff around them, they kind of cease to be. Yeah, those pieces work together great. 
face. They sort of snap together, but they, they leave such a mess that they actually don't, these ones. Bruh. Two. <laughs> well, that was three, man. Nice. You're way ahead of where you think you are. Oh yeah, I'm you're jamming. Doing, you're doing great, dude. You're right there. World record 25 pace. is... Four, two, yeah, new, almost new PB. Let's go. Ain't dead yet. I'm dead. No, not yet. No. That's the wrong Z. Damn, lost the 50-50. Actually, let me let me try something here. Maybe it will be useful <laughs> to me, actually. Hmm. Having less terrible trash on the field to start with. Huh. I don't... I don't think it worked this I time. I, yeah, I don't, I don't hate where your head's at. I like the idea. I think it could theoretically pay off. Normally I would welcome the trash, because as long as it's not fatal, that's just more pieces. Hey. I built an Among Us in Tetris. Thanks for making a little Amoogus, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it. Damn, that slid right in. That's super uncommon, I've noticed. Yo, one good piece, Pog. This thing is impossible to use. Never fits anywhere. Too damn big. The star from hell. Worst one. Oh, the donut? Yeah, the donut seems like the worst piece. Well, this is tough. Changing the music up. A little bit of serenity. Well, um... Yeah, Godspeed with the rest of this, man. I, um... I, I believe you can do it. Godspeed. <laughs> I'm losing, man. Have a good one. Shapes just aren't lining up in a way that lets me slide them in place. If they were, that would be pretty neat. I think that having too many messed up pieces is impossible, maybe. If only a few of them were, it would be recoverable. Like, that worked, but it's super uncommon for that to be the case. Maybe I can trick it like that. The plus piece is too much. The, the plus piece is beyond... All of these. It's just super awful. Its existence single-handedly makes this impossible. Damn. I really messed that one up. It seems like they fit, but um, they just make the mess worse because of the holes they naturally leave. Like that one fits right in there, except for that one piece that doesn't, and just makes it all worse. <laughs> and the plus guarantees a hole every time.
I didn't notice. Are you any good at this hell Tetris? What's your top score? What do I do if the lines decide that they're not going to clear for some reason? That seems like a problem. It seems like a big issue for the Tetris fellas. If they gave me nothing but Z's, that's a challenge I've done in the past. Because that's an easy one to simulate. And I could make lines out of that all day long. The Z blocks suck, but they are usable. Oh no, my, my line! I need that! Hey! Damn. I think this music's cursed. can't use this down there because it's um it's no good one my record is five lines i think maybe four or five thinking. I need to separate them into piles that connect to each other. Only a few of these actually work together at all. But they do sort of work together if there's nothing else on the field. That, unfortunately, is not a thing that Tetris allows very often. I'm not, yeah, I'm not allowed to turn that in there like you can in other Tetris games. I really feel like if I get those those pluses because they are just too much. If I just threw those away, I would be in business. Like I, I have to eat the loss of throwing them on the field. They're just never gonna work. Didn't think that would work. In my head, it looked right, but I, I knew in my heart that it wouldn't go down another inch. Oops. That spun so wild. Yeah, just, just remake this hack real quick and get rid of the T square plus sign. And then maybe you would have a playable thing uh, 
way harder than normal Tetris, but if that piece were actually just the regular T-block... Thanks for sub. Appreciate. Look at that perfect mess. And here it comes, the Ruiner, uh, to shit all over it. Is there anything I can do to combine that one with this? No, not really. Best I can do is a double. What do you mean the lines don't clear? That sucks. Did they just make this as a joke and didn't actually test it? See if it was beatable or not? They just loaded it up and said, well, we made an impossible Tetris as a goof, and then they just left it broken. Lines don't clear, that's really weird. choice. Not ideal, but something. Damn! <laughs> it didn't work! Hoisted again by the non-clear. My PB taken away for nothing. You owe me one. You owe me five. Come on. Six. Seven. Damn. Tetris is just a bad video game. Yo, 595, we almost caught up to Tony. Not so fast, Tony. Shit, Tony. Let me see if I have any more. There were a few other ones in here that are Final Fantasy. Um, they look like they are big things, though. Not really a fit for this format. Like Boss Rush and remasters and stuff like that. I have one more for you after all. If it runs. Yeah. Let's book it. <laughs> Shit.
what that was. Yeah, I got the boots. But I don't know how to use them yet. Okay, we just double tap for those. Oh, they're very committed dash. No arrow dash. Oof. The boots have never been less impressive than they are in this. My life flash before my eyes. Isn't there supposed to be a bonus here? Or is it different in this game? Oop. Damn. What I need rings for? Extra lives? Do they have any value? Get that. No dash lemons. cat pants.
Yoink. I think I have the energy balancer. to get lost in Kimmy Cat Pant too. My shield. hurts a lot. Damn. It's gonna be a bit of a rough one, this guy. so bad. I can't damage race that. <sighs> I gotta hang on to the side and do a jump. I almost had it. Got to do some slick Mega Man moves. so far <laughs> oh man the checkpoint's so bad too I have to dodge at least once have to unless he takes less damage from contact or something Ow. 
Nice. Gaming. We got synthetic bubble. It's the same damn thing. <laughs> it's the same gun. <laughs> Nothing left but his boots. <laughs> oh shit. This way seems safer. Oh no. My rings. This game seems like it's beatable. Unlike Bubsy, <laughs> unlike Bubsy, which was a uh, uh, problematic for other reasons. Maybe not. It depends on how things shake out. Sometimes we can't really move as fast, but we can wall jump, which probably opens up any problem. Probably. good sound.
Oh. 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 So many rings. Incredible. 5x. Got your number now. Explosive. <laughs> Listen, names are hard. Found the armor. Hell yeah. Just sitting there waiting for me. Fast. Normally, X does not need area. We'll see if they change that or not. Maybe. I mean, it might not come up. It probably will in this stage, though. Even wall jumping won't let me uh, escape all of this. <laughs> Better watch that. Hell yeah, this is where I want to be. Can't get up there. First. 
I'm not allowed to jump up here. No wall jumping allowed. Now I should hit him with the plosives. The adherent. Ooh, we got ourselves a little jump jump booster. Couldn't go in time. My armor! Those death traps are the main things. Don't get crushed. Everything else here is still can be dealt with. Moving forward. Big man's power move. Climbing walls. Wow. Rude as hell. These adherent explosives, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
No! My goofy shield. I got breathed on. But. I'm taking my time now. We may die again. Wow, dangerous around here. See that? Desperate need. I wish the rings would just heal you instead of just being coins. That might be too easy though, I guess. Even if it were just one. <laughs> They'd have to be like 10 rings per pip of health or something to be balanced. There we go. It's kind of a tough jump. Got the score one up. This is the longest area by far. It's slow and it's three stages. I still have um, a couple worlds left to go after this though. I watched those spikes, way more lethal now. Crabs. Crabs. Oh shit. I do not trust the plungers all of a sudden. My shield. <laughs> I 
Ah, shit. Should have kept doing what I was doing. I'm nearly dead now. Wow, nowhere to run. Pincer. What if the other moves hit through his shield? Ah, damn it. Gotta go left. I haven't been spiked very much considering how many there are and how instant they are. will take me out. <laughs> I would say that the weapons aren't doing much for me. So close to this checkpoint. Does have a weakness to this. There's more than one. Okay, there's a lot more than one. Wow. Coming through. We're orbing. too bad, but they are... They don't stick around, they die when they hit the enemy.
I'm using that slowdown to my advantage. Ah, shit. It's been so long since I hit the thing. There's spikes all over this level. leaving the one-up zone. There is a hard tank. So I've just been missing those. I guess. What a stage. Well, I just went backwards, I think. No, no jingle or anything, just here, have it. Take it.
gotten lost in oil ocean. No surprise to me. Surely I'm going backwards, right? All signs point to this being up and to the right somewhere. more like what I'm looking for. Too bad. still the best one by a lot. Just does a ton of damage. And it's fast. Easy to use. Two stages left. Thanks for the host. What's up? Playing Mega Man X. <laughs> Reversal phaser. Larry, no joke. Agreed. Thank you. No joke. Those, um, those things don't die, huh? Yeah, thanks for the gift sub, too. Welcome, everybody.
Pretty risky jump there. I kind of want to see what's up there, actually. Oh well. It'll be alright. I haven't been exploring super hard, because there's no reason to, but um, presumably there's a, a buster upgrade around, and a, a hat upgrade, and heart tanks all over the place. Oof! Do something about the instant death spikes. Biggest threat. Let's take the high road this time. screwed myself, yeah. Unless... I knew this was coming up, because I'm... I've fallen for this in Sonic. Yeah. We're still at the start? Damn. No checkpoints at all? Really? Whole journey? Nothing? This friggin' zone. Lucky I survived that. That whole upper path was just bonus. I, I mean, it wasn't really getting much out of it or anything, but bonus, yeah, sure. Those things are immortal. Or at least not worth killing. last. Pretty good.
Eight is the max of rock that you can have. Stone stalagmite. Last world, and then whatever the end game is for this. needs those. Just gonna go. That don't even give me any height anyway. thing about Sonic is that these spikes aren't really meant to be dangerous and now they are a super threatening thing. They're everywhere. They're meant to be a nuisance at best. Exactly, these things, oh man. At least the shield protects me from him. The f seems like seems like bad news. Let's back it up. <laughs> I'm I'm calling a mulligan on Mega Man X Sonic. I feel like I may as well finish considering that we've been on this game for nearly an hour and it is in the end game like it's almost there I don't have anything else to play really anyway. Yeah, I'll just chill out with Dave later. It's fine. Dave's always ready to go. New Dave some other day. Theoretically, I could go over the top of some of this. Not this time. They remembered to wall this one off. Oh, the lava's not that cool. I just kind of assumed it would be. Well, that means this boss won't be so bad. That seems like a good weapon. This also works really well here. Hit him with the oil crap. That does nothing. Laser also does nothing.
I lose the Eagles. Eagles and apes. Burning globe. <laughs> also known as fireball. My plane's a little jacked up. That's okay. And these things are worth a shitload of points. Just ridiculous amount. They're so valuable. Holy crap. the Maxis. I didn't know there was a combo meter in this game. Anyway, Wing Fortress Zone. like I'll be able to skip a lot of this. Maybe. <laughs> Shit.
Hey, Abdulli, thank you. What's up? <laughs> Shit. Okay, we gotta land on those. myself Oh yeah, how's the SA2? That's gonna be great. I got five lives. I'm hit the checkpoint. I'm good. It's progress. How the fuck do I do this? Hmm. Okay. We can just make the jump. rough playing these shots. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of the weapons I'm using just don't do anything anyway. This does, and this is going to be very easy to use, in fact. Just got to build that full circle. Charge shot works better anyway. Couldn't find a weakness.
Hey, welcome back, friend. It's holding that plane together with magnets. out of bullets. <laughs> this will be a lot better than the real fight. This will be better than most Sigma fights, too. Accidentally making a regular, decent X game here. Damn, those hurt tons. Almost had him. Gotta watch out for the damage on those. Yeah, I probably am gonna do more damage shuffling. I got a charity thing coming up soon. I mean, I just finished a Mario one. If you missed that one. Just did that. Yeah, Death Egg is pretty bad. It doesn't have any rings in it, and you have to fight two bosses in a row, and they're pretty lousy. Full charge buster works so much better than anything else in this two, these two fights. It's not going to play any risk here. I forget how you get behind him. Just boots. Just boots all the way down the line.
Who are these people? Yeah, never seen them. I would have appreciated a really shitty JPEG of Mega Man's face right there. Over top of the hedgehog. Missed opportunity, missed a chance. <laughs> it's pretty janky, but it works. It's beatable. I want to host Author Blues. Thanks for joining me, everybody. See you on Wednesday, we have... <laughs> yeah, you know? Maybe true. Anyway, see you on Wednesday, we have Arcade Pit at 1 p.m. Eastern. And after that... And that's on Giant Bomb. And after that, we'll be doing some other stuff here. I have to finish Alter Beast, and I have to do a couple other things. Looking into some new projects. And working on... Um, Inscription and Dave the Diver and maybe Tactics Ogre, but I'm kind of playing that off stream. See you later.